Now, I've got something with me today. But before I show you what I have with you, I want to read some verses from the Word of God. In the book of Job, Job chapter 39, the Word of God says this in verse 13. Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth, and warmeth them in dust, and forgetteth that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones, as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain, without fear, because God hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. And we're thinking this morning of the ostrich. And of course, this is one of the birds that's revealed in the Bible. And um, the ostrich, of course, we could also think about um, a sister to the ostrich. And this strange looking creature, it's like an ostrich, isn't it? Maybe we'll call this emu. Okay, now I have to tell you something about uh, the ostrich or the emu. It's a very, very silly bird. Because you see, it has the appearance of an animal, but it also has the appearance of a bird. It can run very fast. And people ask the question, is it an animal or is it a bird? You see, the ostrich has got wings. It's also got feathers, but it doesn't fly. And you see, sometimes people can ask, well, is it an animal or is it a bird? And the impression is that it doesn't know what it really is. And you see, sometimes boys and girls and young people are like that. Mummies and daddies are like that. They don't know what they are. Are they truly born again as Christians or are they not? Was there a time in their life when there was a clear calling on the Lord, save me, I perish? Do they live in light of that um, call and clear testimony that they've asked Jesus Christ to be their Lord and to be their Savior? You see, Christianity demands a clear choice, a commitment to Christ, Christ for me for time and for eternity. And then, of course, uh, standing and staying true to Christ all the days of our life. So we learn this from the ostrich or the emu, that it's a silly bird. It doesn't know what it is and how many people don't know what they are. Even in relation to, there's a lot of people in Northern Ireland don't know whether they're male or female. And it's not a very strange thing. It shows you, of course, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And, and the, the ostrich has the appearance of double-mindedness. But I'll tell you something else. It's not only a silly bird, but it's a very strange bird. And I'll tell you why. It has no instinctive wisdom. It has no understanding of its circumstances or surroundings. It's no ability to weigh up things. It's no regard for its future. And it's not the attitude of many in the world. They have no discernment. Not in time or eternity. You see many people, their life's philosophy is this young people. Eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow you, you might die. And, and you see, the, the, the future, they never think of it. They just think the future will take care of itself, and that is foolish. And they have no regard for sin, and they have no regard for the consequences of sin. And they don't know that the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And they have no concern for their soul or their eternal welfare. So, so the, the ostrich, we could really say, is a really strange bird. It's not only silly, but it's strange because it lacks that instinctive wisdom. It doesn't take in its surroundings or circumstances. It doesn't have regard for the future. It just lives from day to day. And I'll tell you something else about the ostrich. The ostrich is a senseless bird. In other words, it doesn't have any feeling. Listen to what the Bible tells us there. Uh, in um, Job 39, it says, She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. 
her labor is in vain without fear. You see, most birds look after their babies. Most creatures look after the young ones whenever they're born, whether they're in nests or in holes. But the ostrich doesn't. It's the only animal or bird, whatever we call it, that has no desire to advance the welfare and protection of its own young. And that is a picture of the hardness of man's heart. And of course, we know that the young children, boys and girls and babies, they're very precious in the sight of God. They're a gift from God. And we have a responsibility and a duty to take care of them. But the ostrich is so senseless, she has no feeling toward the young. How different that the Lord Jesus said to Peter, feed my lambs, feed my sheep. And we have a responsibility to the boys and girls and a responsibility for their well-being, not only in a physical and material sense, but especially in a spiritual sense. And how many parents out there look after the temporal and material affairs of the children? But when it comes to spiritual things, about going to church, going to Sunday school, learning the Bible, being taught the Word of God, many parents don't think that that is really important and not necessary. And yet how wrong they are. They're being senseless in relation to the need and the well-being of their children. And we thank God for parents that do send the children to Sunday school, and we need to pray for them and pray for those children that, that they will come to a knowledge of Christ and not be like the ostrich and be senseless. So I leave those three thoughts with you. What can we learn today from the ostrich? It's a silly bird. It doesn't know what it is. It's a strange bird because it's no regard for the future. And it's senseless without feeling towards its young. Well, the Lord bless you. And we trust and pray that we'll bring something else from the word of God about the animals that are found in the Bible.